Hello guys, welcome back. We here, I'm Pedro, E Torres in 18 casting with Nico Alavas. What's up, Nico? How are you doing? All good? Yeah, I mean, hasn't really changed in the last <laughs> two minutes. That's perfect. That's so, amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, we here, guys, into the big finals between Eddie Pisacian and Pika. Tag Team Dex, Nico. Tag Team Dex, Nico. What do you think about this insanely cool matchup from 2017? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I can put it in the words of my favorite streamer, vamos, chat. Vamos, chat. That's, that's what I say to it. There we go. Vamos um, for this. Yeah, I mean, the classic matchup, right? I mean, we've seen it for basically ever since the pandemic started. This was the matchup, basically. ADP versus Pika, and here we are again. Correct. That's in excellent. finals. That's actually great. We have a Vitor from Brazil playing Pika with some hammers. And we have Fabian from Argentina. So it's a Latin America Finals, right, Nico? Latin America Finals, Brazil against Argentina. Uh, Vitor Lugon, really good player. Fabian Robledo, really good player in the finals of this $500 cash. Gitor, Chilti CG Cup, number six, free to play, 200 players. We have in the finals, Nico. I'm so excited and can't wait to see how this matchup goes. And um, for Fabian, didn't look really great this star, right? Yeah, I mean, we've definitely seen better stars from him before, but we've also seen him pull out games before where we didn't really expect him to win anymore. Um, and yeah, I mean, just as it always is in the Pika versus ADP matchup, can go either way. But something really important to keep in mind here compared to the last match that we saw Fabian play versus um, Pika is that Vito has the double yell grunt. And especially with this slow start, or like at least how it's looking to be slow from Fabian, those yell grunts can be really disruptive. That's a big uh, research. Uh, wow. That's two saucers down, right, Nico? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and again, right, like he will wow. have to use his energy acceleration as efficiently as possible and losing two sources plus two metal that's a lot of energy resources gone so yeah i mean doesn't look too great for him here but he gets the spinner for full value yeah that's a spinner for full value like you said definitely fabian wants the saucer now <laughs> definitely want the saucer now uh fabian to get the possibly turn one gx right so two saucers down but it's definitely possible if he's decided to go for the dead change, we maybe see a possible turn one GX. But maybe Fabian decided to go for the safe play, right? Intrepid swording, trying to be chill. But that means Vitor can actually hammer the water, putting a lot of pressure to Fabian because you're forced to find another water. So, well, I expected to see Altar in the finals, but now, you know, we have uh, ADP Sassian in the final so that's acrobat probably gonna escape rob too right escape rob actually draw one extra card. wow actually gets it but doesn't even oh. he's like oh i'm gonna get it anyway it's oh. no need to rob here wow that's resources down but gx on one chat hopefully you hype it as much as me gx on one chat no need to the den right no need to the den. <laughs> just so if no hammers the ultimate race coming um so I guess Vitor is definitely digging now for hammers or Jelgrand. That needs yeah, to be... We, we need to see some hammers of Jelgrand here for sure because, like, if you want to punish ADP, this is the turn. I mean, three saws are down, just GX to turn one. If you get the Jelgrand and one hammer or even just one hammer or even just one Jelgrand, you put yourself in such a good spot in this matchup. That's correct. So, yeah. Let's see if we see a hammer heads and Jelgrand because... Three saucers already in the discard pile. Um, so maybe this uh, rather actually finds a possible jack run, maybe finds a possible hammer. Uh, but yeah, if no any disruption at all, ultimate race coming, power up Sassian, and Fabian will be in an insane spot, right? So Yeah, for sure. Wow, that's a jack oh, That's the iron. So one yeah, saucer. So I mean, that probably means there's no ultimate ray coming because, I mean, yeah. he would have to find the last saucer and E-switch. And yeah. now it's impossible. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy because now, like you said, like you said, Nico, three saucers down uh, 
and literally zero energy in play from Fabian, even after GX in turn one. What is the dream of every ADP player, right? So even with the dream of every ADP player with this GX on one, Fabian lost so many resources in that process. That's why so many times, especially against Hammer decks, playing ADP, I prefer to not go high roll for the GX on one because even if you get it, one hammer or one jack run stops you for completely to actually be able to attack next turn. So sometimes I guess it's better to actually don't high roll for the GX on one, going for the attachment intrepitor, what means the intrepitor maybe gets an energy into the Sassian. Or that means you can actually GX on two, but with more energies in play. So that's a the change, it's kind of the water, and probably an intrepitor is coming. Definitely Fabian needs to accelerate some energies thanks to that ability of Sassian that actually draw three cards. And if you have any metal in these three cards, you can attach it for free. So, Interpitor, definitely looking for energy after three saucers are in the discard pile. No energy. So, one Jagran again with Eldegos or Hammer. Looks like Vitor will be in a really insane spot with one Hammerheads or just Eldegos for Jagran, right? Yeah, I mean, I. Like, with this board, like, from this position, I don't really see Fabian winning anymore because there's absolutely no way that he gets out an attacker in one turn. And even if he does, which, like, in theory, the Mobile would be an option. Like, he could full bench his opponent, power up the Mobile in one turn with one source of one attachment, boss the Dedenna, but then the Mobile just gets KO'd, and then he's still without energies. Um, so I 100% agree with you with, like, not going for the aggressive road, because as we see here, like, Fabian is getting super hard punished for going too aggressive on his <laughs> first turn. And, I mean, yeah, sure, he got the turn on GX, but you know your opponent plays double Jagon, like... Vitor didn't even have to flip him heads. Just the Yelgrunt alone, he hmm. could have just gone Yelgrunt. And then if you don't find your last Saucer plus E-Switch, he just goes Yelgrunt again and buys himself already so much turn. But of course with uh, turns. But so much... It's so much worse if he also flips Hammerheads because then there's really nothing you can do. Correct. So that's the last Saucer in the deck. So actually, Fabian has a little chance to win now with going Brave Blade into four prizes, but that means Vitor can actually line it right Sassian, and Fabian will have zero energies in play, uh, and no more saucers in the deck. So, looks like Fabian can maybe take four prizes now, thanks to the GX of ADP plus the Brave Blade, you actually take an extra prize with the Brave Blade into the Pika, because even with the resistance, you hit exactly to 40 HP. Um, but that means Vitor can actually line it right, kill the Sassian, and, and like we said, Fabian will have zero energies in play. So. That's escape from the switch, so no energy, no energy, no supporter. Oh my goodness. So the the only real possibility here, like realistically, for Fabian to still win this game, like unpunishable basically, or like even slightly punishable, would be if he would have found this turn, um either Great Catcher or Boss, plus Rust Sword into the Mewtwo KO. Because as you said, right, if the Mewtwo survives, Lightning Right just chaos usation, you have nothing left. Um, so you can't really KO the Pika, but even, like, in this spot, like, the spot that we're in right now, that e doesn't even help him, like, even if Vitor loses the turn, now even Bolton gets enough energies onto himself, even without Coco, to take KO, so it's like, the Pika is just way too far ahead at this point, there's just really nothing that ADP right. can do, and of course, like, Boss, if there's also a switching card or a balloon coming, wow. just completely seals it. Wow. <laughs> Looks like game over, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, for sure. Like, no saucer left, no attacker for just one energy. So, yeah, that's that's completely over. That's mm -hmm. completely game over. Like, so... even... Th that's the thing, right? Like, even if you think about the best thing that can happen for Fabian, which would be bench station, triple energy with Intrepid Sword, and you don't get bossed, even then, at some point you have to attach, uh, attack, and then you still just get revenge KO'd, and you, again, have no energies, right? So, there's really nothing that Fabian can still do in this game to win. Exactly. Like he's so. like I if he pulls this one out, then I completely miss something. But there's like absolutely no aid, and yeah, just how it looks like. Yeah, he's he's just telling Vitor that he wants to go second, and that's just going to be game one. Oh, insane game one for Vitor after the GX one turn one for Fabian. Vitor was not even worried about that. Fabian actually couldn't even attack this turn, only GX, and after that, Fabian couldn't even attack a single turn. So. Fabian decided to go second, what is really interesting, because maybe he still tried to go for the GX on one. What I continue thinking is better to chill a bit, and uh, chilling a bit, 
uh, you maybe have better chance to actually has more energies in place with a possible SAS and Intrepid sword in. So Vitor starting the Dene, that's definitely not great for Vitor because it's three prices, well, potential three prices uh, for um, Fabian, if uh, Fabian is able to GX plus Ultimate Ray. So the Dene start is definitely not great, especially in his ADP. So Vitor definitely checking with this quick ball uh, his outs, if Coco Prison is in the deck, if Raichu is in the deck, uh, if I price an important card like Hammers, brr. so um, let's see what Vitor decides to go. And Vitor is one game away to become the Cheat DCG G Tour Cup number six champion. So let's see how this matchup goes, right? Let's see how this game two goes, Nico. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, the first game was like a really good example of why PK has been one of the decks that could always keep up with ADP because if you can just disrupt them early enough in the like early game early turns um yeah i mean there's not really a lot adp can do but like once adp gets going it becomes very hard for most decks and yeah i mean it's gonna be interesting to see if fabian here tries again to go really hard for the turn one gx or if he wants to chill a bit more i feel like this time it's a little bit more okay to go in hard because he's forced to attach the water first basically so um, and he also doesn't have double source in hand this time that he would have to discard. So maybe he just gets the turn on GX again, but this time with a little bit less punish potential from Vitor's side. That's correct. Um, yep, that's the water attachment. Probably gonna switch into the ADP. Maybe gonna decide just to Intrepid Sword and saving a quick ball, but you could, I guess Fabian definitely doesn't want to lose the Great Catcher and the boss, but maybe Fabian wants to do something. So. Yeah, Fabian deciding and thinking, maybe should I try to GX, maybe should I try to just Intrepid Sword. But yeah, deciding to Quick Ball, discarding probably Boss or Great Catcher. So the best options right now is probably Crobat or Dead Change into more cards. So that's actually the Crobat with Dark Asset ability, drawing five cards. That's a Saucer, but there is no Metals in the Discard Pile this time. So probably uh, Intrepid Sword is coming, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, no he decides to chill a little bit more this time, not yeah. go for like a bit of change. <laughs> Correct. So this time he decided to not go in that Yolo and the hammer super crucial in this water. So Vitor really happy in this game too for hitting his hammer heads into the water energy from ADP. Um, yeah, Fabian really sad because nine cards in hand, but literally zero energies. That money actually helps Fabian a bit, I guess, because... Fabian was kind of tricky. You don't want to research important resources. And this money given, yeah, that's fine. Gonna lose a saucer with this research, but definitely not the end of the war. Um, so yeah, let's see the top deck of Fabian. But yeah, Fabian had nine cards in the bottom of the deck that there is literally zero energy. So that research is definitely gonna find a metal or a water this turn. And yeah, that's the Pika. It's gonna power up, probably power up with Electrify. Within the energy could be crucial, but not really important, I guess, because Fabian plays no crashing hammer. So uh, electrify and a potential full blitz, uh, play is coming next turn. That's the meta energy. What I guess you decided to research it because I guess you want to go for the saucer e switch play. I don't know if Fabian will decide to cherish ball. I don't know if cherish ball, if Fabian want to reshuffle the deck. Okay, he decided to reshuffle the deck. What is really interesting because now the cards that were in the bottom with the Marnie, they are not in the bottom anymore. But he preferred to that play, even reshuffling the deck, because he wanted to discard one card to have better chance to hit the GX. And let's see, Nico, if GX is coming or not. I mean, I think, like, generally, of course, uh, sometimes you don't really want to shuffle your deck after money. But, I mean, he knew there was one saucer at the bottom, right? And if mm -hmm. he wants to go for the GX, he needs a saucer. Yeah. He priced one. So discarding one would mean he only had the power to get, like, one. So I guess it makes sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, no GX, and this is where it gets, like, super tricky for Fabian, because Vita, in theory, doesn't even need to have hammers to deny him energies for the rest of the game, because he could just go Yelgrunt, Yelgrunt, Eldegos, Yelgrunt, and then he would just win. So, now it basically just comes down to if Vita can find his Yelgrunt, or even just flip hammer heads, and then win a similar spot as last game, where Fabian just can't get energies in play, and that's just the power of basically Yelgrunt, I mean, now, of course, we are in a spot where it's pretty okay. Like, he has the E-switch, he can um, he can GX next turn, but 
Vitor will be able to attack into the ADP. So even if he jacks mm -hmm. the ADP just gets KO'd. And then he needs to find triple saucer, exactly. which he can't because he only has two. So he needs to find two saucer plus manual attachment after his GX attack. So it's like, it's going to get really tricky. And yeah, Fabian will 100% be forced to find almost all of his saucers Correct. eventually. So yeah, the potential play that happens or appears now is a possible ultimate trade, right? What is really interesting to see before alter creation, we maybe see a potential ultimate drain to Pika, a power up Sassian, then Sassian kill Pika, and then try to do hit Q and Mewtwo. What is definitely long way to win the game, but as you said, if you GX, you need a lot of sources. What is definitely possible, but hard. So I, yeah, like you said, I will be between two different plays right now, trying to go for the E-switch and ultimate drain, or just GX and then pray to find all the sources at the perfect time to kill all the Pokemon. So that's attachment to the meta into the ADP. Probably starting to go Balloon into somewhere uh, and probably gonna research or maybe go Dead Exchange. So let's see what he decided to do. But yeah, definitely super important, the Hammerheads. So now Fabian can GX, but he has one less energy in play. Benching Sassy and attaching Balloon and deciding to go research or Quick Ball both sounds fine because Quick Ball can find a Dead Exchange. And research actually finds more cards and save the bench slot for a possible dead change next turn. That's the any switch, so it's gonna be interesting to see if Fabian decided to go for Ultimate Ray or GX. What do you think, Nico? Um, I mean like it's it's close because he has one energy in play, right? So mm -hmm. he only needs to find one saucer plus manual attachment next turn. But again, if he gets Yelvan or Hammer, then it becomes really tough again yep. so it's it's definitely close um but i feel like in the spot that vitor is in you kind of have to go for alter creation because mm -hmm. vitor can also just go like full bits uh power up the mewtwo for like uh for like tech bolt for a game because oricurio of course only 170 so tech bolt would ko crobit plus oricurio with a boss right so i feel like you kind of have to go for gx now and then target the energies or like try to target the energy utilization but it's definitely going to be really tough here for fabian to pull this out correct and we maybe see a mawile i definitely think fabian is considering to mawile wow are you gonna do the change his hand <laughs> no nah, no way let's see <laughs> yeah the gx no mawile sadly right but maybe we see a mawile next turn so, I mean, I want to. We didn't see a single Mawile. Yeah, that's true. It's, uh, exactly. So now, Jaguar KO looks like the best play, correct? Into possible tag ball with Mewtwo. So, looks like Vitor in a really insane spot. If Vitor just finds, yeah, Jaguar. Yeah, okay, that's... Full that's going to be, like, he, he needs to find double source on next turn or it's over. And, yeah, now he's going to power up Mewtwo probably for a possible tag But ball. he has Oricurio plus Data Change uh, and support. It's possible, so. it's possible for sure. But even if you find the Q into the Pika, how do you prevent a tag ball for game? That's another question. I mean, you, you hope that your opponent doesn't have boss. Yeah, so Vitor in a really, really good spot right now. But actually, no, actually, actually, we're in the same spot as last game. Like, he, he just can't win anymore because if he, like, if he doesn't KO the Mewtwo, Bolton KOs the Zation and he's out of Saucer. And if he does KO the Pika, Mewtwo KOs the Zation. So it's the same game, same thing as last game. Correct. Yes, like, he needs all of his Saucers this turn. And the Zation will get KO'd for sure, so I mean I think that's it. I think we have a winner here. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think there's no way that Fabian can stop Vitor possibly from just taking this game in yeah. the like next two turns. Looks like like you said, I completely agree. Vitor in a really insane spot right now because seven cards in hand, uh Vitor can win with one boss into Tag Ball Crobat and Oricorio for game. Or Vitor just can uh, Bolton, KO, Sassian, and then Fabian is out of resources. And look at this dead change, Nico. Look at this dead change. Holy moly. And Doesn't even find both of the sources. But he still has a recurve. So, no, I guess he used the recurve. Yeah, he already used the Oh, no, he already so... used the recurve. Okay, that's interesting. Or recurve before dead change. So, yeah, literally no saucers. So, I guess before losing, we want to see a Mauer. <laughs> We want to see a Mawel to see what happens. Um, but yeah, the Celtic goes for supporter. That's true. The Celtic goes for supporter. So that still can do something. But yeah, Fabian with 10 cars in the deck. So if he's going to want to research, 
There's only one saucer in the deck, so at least one is prize. So, Yeah, but we're still in the same spot, right? Like, yeah, even if same he spot. chaos the Mewtwo, Correct. then Bolton has exactly enough energies with Coco in play, right? So, Correct. So, there's really nothing that Fabian can do here. correct. Um, that's the last saucer. It's gonna take four Even, prizes. even got the great catcher. Yeah. Great saucer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you said, even with the perfect combination of cards, Vitor has the Bolton KO, and Fabian cannot answer to that Bolton next turn, right? Yeah, I mean, that's really, like, except something like misclicking or DCing, there's really nothing that can happen that stops Vita from just taking this game. Correct. So, yeah. Bolton, thanks to the power of Coco Prism, is going to be able to actually uh, take this prize into the Salsian for a clean 220 HP at least, uh, 250 if Beaton finds, Beaton finds an energy. So, yeah, four prizes for Fabian. But Vitor in an insane spot right now that just Coco Prison popping up the, the Coco into the Dene and Pika, for example, makes uh, 220 damage into Assassin. So the only way Fabian can maybe win is uh, if Vitor full bench Mawile take a price into the Dene, but Mawile from Fabian is here already in the discard pile. So Fabian can actually put two energies in play maximum, what means he can attack with Eldegos for 80 damage. But you cannot attack with Sassian because there is no more saucer. So that's exactly 20. So Vitor is one price away to be the Chill TCG GG Tour 500 cash tournament champion. So Fabian is going to put probably Crobat or recording the active. But it looks like Vitor is going to win next turn, right, Nico? We're probably going to have I mean, a there's, winner. there's nothing that survives the ball storm next turn. Mm -hmm. Even if you try to, like, boss stall. Like, yeah, I guess, I guess you could, like, boss the Pika, hope that your opponent doesn't have a switch, and then he has to retreat and doesn't have enough energy to play anymore to Chaosation. But even then, like, what do you do? Yeah. Um, like, I don't, th I don't think Fabian even has enough energies in depth, in theory, to win, because, Correct. like, he would still need two metal in his deck, and I don't think he does, so... Correct. So, yeah, that's the last saucer. So the uh, Sassian cannot attack. Um, Mawel is in the discard pile. Uh, one saucer uh, remaining. But, yeah, you can lose with his style. You can record, yo, and <laughs> lose by deck. Oh, that's... The rest of the deck is Boss and the Dene. I literally see zero options for Fabian. So it looks like this turn after Fabian pass or Fabian uh, lose by deck out, Vitor is going to be the champion next turn because like you said, literally Fabian has zero energies remaining after that water so it cannot even attack with Eldegos. So that's uh, Fabian trying the disconnection from the opponent. <laughs> but yeah, looks like a really insane spot for Vitor. Um, this ball is going to kill everything. Uh, let's see if Intrepid Sword into deck out is coming. He decided to pass. So now, well played. That's the balloon. And we have a winner, Like the fun Nico. the funny the funniest thing is even if Vito DCs here, he would still win. Because you get like the two turns the PC just like plays for you basically, and then Fabian would just take out at some Correct. point <laughs> because he can't attack. Correct. So guys, we have a champion. We have